Hi, I'm Lisa Catalano, and today I'm going to talk about creating a simple navigation menu that will display horizontally on large screens and vertically on small screens. Let's start with the HTML. I have a simple, unordered list of links. Each list item has a class name related to its text. I'll use a mobile-first approach and start styling this list as a vertical navigation so it will look good on phones and smaller tablets. I'm clearing out the margin and padding and giving a background color to the body first. Next, I'll style the list to remove the bullets and give it a background color. I want the text centered. It doesn't look perfectly centered yet, but if I remove the padding, it will. Clearing the margin will make it hug the top of the page, which I want. I'm targeting the UL tag inside of .nav because I would probably want different styling on non-navigational unordered lists. On the list items inside of nav, I will set the typography. I'm setting the line height and height both to 40 pixels so that the text is centered vertically on each line. I'm also giving a subtle border to distinguish the lines. Finally, I'll turn off the underlines and make the text white in the links. Again, I'm only targeting anchor tags inside of nav because I don't want to assume all anchor tags will be styled this way. The links are only clickable when I'm actually on top of the words in the link. I want the link to span the entire block, so I need to add display block to these links. Now I can click anywhere to go to a different page. I'd like to make the color different when we hover over the link. I can do that with this code. It would be nice to have a little transition effect on the hover as well, so I'll add that. I added it to the A tag though and not the hover selector. This will allow the transition to happen both when you mouse over the link and also when you move your mouse away. The final thing I want to do before styling the wider screen navigation and making it horizontal is to style the active class. I have an active class on the about link right now. I can style the active links with this. But we have a problem when I hover over the active link. I don't want that color to change. So I'll add .nav at the beginning so this selector has more specificity and will override the .nav a hover that was previously defined. I'd like to change the cursor to default so it doesn't look like clicking on this link will do anything. So things are working nicely and this would look fine on a phone. However, if we're on a wider screen, it looks strange. When the screen is larger than 600 pixels, I'd like to switch to a horizontal navigation. So that will be my breakpoint. Anything less than 600 pixels will show navigation vertically, and anything with more resolution will show it horizontally. I can add a media query, then I can target .navli inside of the media query. So when on a screen that's at least 600 pixels wide, it will use this code. I'm making each menu item 120 pixels wide since there are 5 items and 5 times 120 is 600. I'm removing the border and making the menu text and bar just a little bit larger. If we move the viewport a little, we can see how it changes. Now we have two options for making this horizontal. One option is to display the list items as inline block, and another option is to use floats. The first method is simpler, but you may have a reason for wanting to use floats, so I'll explain both options. Either option will work on IE8, however IE8 will not understand the media query. So later, we'll need to copy this code to an IE8 only style sheet. Even though I'm still targeting the .nav li selector, I'll put the different option codes outside of this first selection so I can easily distinguish between the two options. If I add display inline block, the navigation works pretty well. We do have a slight problem around 600 pixels wide where the last menu item jumps to another line. Also, if I hover over the other items, you can see that we have this little gap of gray showing. That's because when using inline block, there's a little bit of margin that's introduced. We can deal with it by adding a small negative margin. And now everything looks great. 
So this method works and we could stop there. I'm not sure if there's a downside to this method, but you might want another option and see how floats would work. This almost works, but the gray bar disappeared. That's because the parent element collapsed when the children were taken out of the flow by floating them. If I turn on the live preview highlight, you can see each LI tag with its border. But the UL tag is just this one line right here, which means it's collapsed. There are numerous ways to fix this, and I have an entire video explaining all the ways. In this case, I'll just add overflow auto. That's simple and will work. However, we have a new issue, and that's that the navigation is not centered anymore. Depending on your website, this might not be an issue. But if we want to fix this, we can add a width and a margin to center it. One final change is to make the entire nav bar have the dark gray color so it extends. So the inline block method is a lot less code and simpler, but I thought it might be useful to see both methods. I used to always use the float method and getting it right sometimes caused headaches. Finally, this code works well in all modern browsers, including IE9 and above. If we looked at this in IE8, we would only see the vertical navigation like this, regardless of how wide the screen was because IE8 does not recognize media queries. To make it work in IE8, we can use a conditional style sheet and add the code we just added to our media query. This won't ever display the vertical navigation in IE browsers, but it's unlikely anyone using IE would be viewing this on a phone, so it should be fine. If I had styled the horizontal menu first, we wouldn't need an IE-specific style sheet. I could have used max width instead of min width and flipped how I wrote the code. But I wanted to take a mobile-first approach. The code ended up being simpler than when I approached it from the larger screen originally. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them at cssnippets.com.